Well, hi everybody. Welcome back to Joe Wednesdays. This is Jay Hobbs. How's your week been? Um, so I realized in the last Joe Wednesday video that I did not talk at all about Lydia and all the fun we had had. So I'm so sorry for all the Lydia cult fans out there. Um, but now I guess you get to get like an extra helping of Lydia photos and Lydia fun stories and that kind of stuff this week. Um, so let's see, where to start? So, um, don't know how many weeks ago it was now, but we did do the popcorn festival, uh, in Beaver Creek. And, um, Lydia got her own personal bag of, like, fruity pebble popcorn, and she really liked it. Um, she also, we, anytime we go to these festivals now, we bought one of those plastic cup Kona ice cups. And it's nice if you go to like multiple festivals instead of having to buy full price Kona ice every time if you want to get it every time. Uh, instead of buying it full price, you can get it at a discount if you use the same cup over and over. Um, so Lydia is, for one, really attached to her Kona ice cup. But she gets pretty excited anytime we find the Kona ice truck uh, when we go out to any of the festivals. So, so we found that for her and like we sat down and before we knew it, she had finished the Kona ice and all the Fruity Pebble uh popcorn all in one sitting so we had quite the sugar high baby that that evening <laughs> but all, all was all was well um and she had a good time and that was all that really mattered um and then the other fun thing that we did that i should have mentioned in the previous video was we went was that we went apple picking um and that was i don't i'm not sure if um if this particular location is all that great or not, to be honest, we went to we went to um, uh, Hidden Valley Orchard, and it could it could also be that we went to the wrong section of the farm. Like, so it could the fault could be on us and not at the location, but uh, and and it also could be that we were like later in the season or something. But I I do know that this location actually like imports a lot of the apples that they sell, so they're not it's not that big of an apple picking place. Um, anyway, all that being said is that we, um, we had a, a pretty decent hike, uh, to the back of the area where some of the apple trees were, and, uh, Lydia was definitely having fun picking the apples, but, uh, they were not that, they didn't look that great on the outside. They, they tasted perfectly fine on the inside, but the outside, the skins looked like they had, uh, been weathered. If, if <laughs> it's, uh, for about lack of a better way to put it, they looked a little weathered. Um, but we got two pretty big bags of apples that day. It was a lot, it was, it was pretty fun. I mean, like, you know, it was, it was mostly, you know, paying for the experience of having Lydia with us to apple pick and she had a really good time doing it. Um, and then we made some like apple crumble dessert. It was essentially like, uh, apple pie filling with all the pie crust involved. So it was, uh, you know, it was a good dessert to have for a while and we had plenty of it. Uh, <laughs> and Lydia had a fun time doing that stuff. Um, we do, <laughs> here, here's, here's a super proud parent moment for you. So, um, so amongst the other, you know, doctors that we go to for Lydia, we, uh, we have a regular like six month appointment with a gastro doctor and, um, you know, like the nurse, you know, has a pretty standard set of questions because since it's like gastro stuff, it's like, you know, it's about poop. Um, and, um, you know, one of the, oh, hi, sweetie. You made a car. Look at that. Then it's a truck. Yeah, oh, it's a truck. I'm sorry. Do you want to show all your adoring fans the truck you just made? I made the truck. Yeah, here. Come up here. I'll help you. Do you want to sit on my lap? Yeah. <laughs> here. Here, show me. Aha. I got the... I built a truck. She built a truck. It's one of the new toys we got for her. We're trying to rotate some of her toys right now just because, like, a lot of them have been sitting around. She's not really using them. And I um, do. Not that she'll understand this as I say, but we, we rotate the same toys the, back and the, forth so she thinks they're new, but they're really not. Pro parent tip. Um, okay, you gonna go play with it downstairs with mommy? Okay. Yeah. Okay, have fun. Can you close the door behind you too, please? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, baby girl. Love you. <laughs> Anyway, where was I? Um, yes, the ga the gastro doctor. Um, so the nurse was kind of asking her standard round of questions, like how is she pooping, is frequency, all this kind of stuff. Um, and then you know she asked, like you know, has there been any, has there, has she had any like diarrhea or constipation? And um, without missing the word association cue, Lydia from like 
over in the corner of the room because she's walking around the room at this point. But in from the corner of the room, she just goes, Boopy Diarrhea! <laughs> it's like, I don't, I could, I think the nurse was eventually entertained. I could not tell if she was entertained or horrified initially. Um, cause like, I don't, I don't know where or when she heard this, but like, that is like a go-to phrase for Lydia. I don't know why. Like, but like, like there was, there was like one day, I don't, I don't remember way back when, but like she was like running back and forth through our living room and our kitchen, just going poopy diarrhea, poopy, like singing it. And it's like, oh God, why? <laughs> So it's like, I'm so proud that you can speak better, but why is it, why do you have to speak that? Ah, so, so that, that was, that was some Lydia fun stories for you. Uh, hope, hope you guys are now at peace since I didn't mention anything last week. Um, let's see. Um, so speak, speaking of last week's, this was kind of like a weird realization about it after the fact. I don't know why, but... I really like like enjoyed slash appreciated the way I ended the last video without having an ending like 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 the whole point of what I was saying was that like I have I was saying this and I was saying this but I don't know how to wrap it up so I'm just gonna acknowledge that I don't know how to wrap it up and end it and move on and I I don't know I don't know why that kind of stood out to me but like I think I kind of just appreciated how I did it um because as I've mentioned before and probably multiple times on, on this show, like, I don't, I don't speak the best. And I know that part of what makes me so self-conscious when I'm talking to somebody is that, like, I don't necessarily know how to, like, bring a conversation to a close and feel comfortable walking away because it was closed. And, and so I kind of awkwardly linger or start to repeat myself and, 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 and start becoming this broken record. Um, and I think, I think I was just like, like, I think it just stood out to me last week that I, I felt good that I was just able to just like admit it and move on. And I don't know, I don't know. But like part, part of me kind of like was like, am I like channeling just a little pinch of George Carlin? I think maybe, um, Cause I don't remember if it was actually like in one of his specials that he did, or if it was just like a recording of a performance that he did that I saw on YouTube. But um, like it, it was, and it wasn't even like the joke that he was making or something like that. But like just he he was doing a routine, and he got to a point where like he didn't have the the like whatever like series of jokes finished or whatever. Uh, he didn't have it finished and he was just like, I don't have an ending for this yet, so I take a small bow. And he did the little bow and then the, you know, the, the audience applauds and, and, and he just moves on with the, with the rest of his show. Um, so I, like, I, I don't know, like, <laughs> I just, I, I thought it was, and see, like, even right now, I'm just like, I don't necessarily know how to close or have, put a point on it, you know, or anything like that, but I just, um, Clearly, it's something that I need to practice, but at the same time, I think it's also okay to be like, you know what? I don't have anything else, so I'm going to stop right here. And I think it's something I need to feel more comfortable regularly practicing in my day-to-day -day socializing and talking with people. So so I thought that was just kind of cool. Um, okay, so in, in gaming news, just as an update, um, so I, I've played through all of Castlevania, and I've recorded it, so I'm just in the, in the middle of editing, so if anyone's looking forward to seeing that, um, it should be on the channel, or at least some of the first episodes should be on the channel within a week or two, hopefully. Um, I'm a bit nervous about it, to be honest, because I, I, I got through editing the first, like, 30 minutes or so, and, um... And I, I ran into a, a glitch in the recording and, um, like it, it was just, it was just kind of this weird, I, I don't know what caused it, but it was just kind of this, like, like the video feed kind of blurred and then the audio was like messed up behind it. And then the MP3 of my, of my audio mic also got like shifted. So like all of a sudden, like the whole video wasn't in sync for a good, like two minutes. And so, like, I had to actually, like, backtrack. I went to, like, the end of the recording and started, like, shifting everything over to, like, get it aligned. Um, so there ends up just kind of being, like, this awkward window of, like, I... 
there's nothing I can really do because like the video didn't record all of it and then the the sound um got like muffled in points and like I just I couldn't I could I couldn't make heads or tails of how to like line it all up so I just kind of did like a clean cut and I ended I, I put in an apology note just for fun or something like that so I hope like people that appreciate my editor humor is will will appreciate that um but yeah and but unfortunately but what I'm worried about I guess is is that like that was only my first recording um and it was already like an error and I hope I really hope that there aren't other errors in other recordings. So, because that that would kind of be a bummer. So, let so fingers crossed that I don't have to redo anything. Because it would like as much as I like playing Castlevania, it would really suck to have to replay the entire game because the recording that went bad. Um, so, hopefully, we're not going to do that. Um, and lastly, I don't I don't know I don't know how long I'm going to go on this. Um, I finished my first the first story of four in the fire emblem three houses game and i i don't know how i feel about it <laughs> um and i don't i so I, I clearly don't know how to talk about it without spoiling it so if you're interested in playing fire emblem three houses and you don't want anything spoiled you should probably just stop here and we'll catch you later um but uh so I, I honestly, it was just, I'm, and it, it could just be that I chose the wrong story to do first because there, it left so many, not, not plot holes, but so much plot got just shoved down your throat at like the very end. And it left you with like so many freaking questions and you're like, wait, wait, go back. Wait, why? And then, like, wait, we killed you, but now we're fighting this person, and now we're fighting this one. Wait, this didn't, none of this translated together. What the hell is going on? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut and ignore all the crap and go into the details. I don't know that people that are watching, if, if you want to hear about it, like, we, we can, we can talk in comments or something like that instead. Because I'm not gonna waste your time going into all the little details that didn't make sense. But a lot of it, I, I didn't like at the end. So... But what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm there, there was like a new game plus where some of the stuff that you like jobs you mastered and some of like the currency you got like transitions over into the new game. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is I'm gonna give it like one additional play to get one additional story, and if it fills in a lot of the gaps that I'm finding are like if it fills in a lot of the problems that I'm currently having with how the first one ended then I might continue moving through it um we'll, we'll see um I was just I was kind of bummed out that I wasn't like oh man that was a great game I was kind of bummed I was, I was just kind of bummed and disappointed so anyway um Fire Emblem is done for the first playthrough maybe having a full second playthrough but maybe not we'll time will tell <laughs> so um but anyway i'm gonna cut myself off that's it for me hope you guys are having a good week i'd love to hear from you in the comments if you want to say anything to me or ask me any questions or anything like that feel free um but until next time this is j-hub signing out oh, oh hi what are those wonder fingers. fingers do you want to help me do the end card with them Yeah, you could. Do you want to go like, eh, and eh? You don't want to do that? Okay. Bye, I love you. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in this week. Click up here if you want to see the latest Joe Wednesday video. And click down here if you want to see some of the games I've played. You'll see Castlevania down here soon enough, hopefully.